Welcome to another edition of Setting the Stage, brought to you by Red Ritter Outfitter, the fans' favorite since 1975. I'm Jared Johnson, and boy, uh, the bright lights uh, of the stage, of this stage at least, at least part, one half of it, uh, sure have dimmed with Texas Tech coming off a 45-17 defeat to Baylor. Uh, but the Red Raiders look to bounce back against another in-state conference rival in TCU. The Red Raiders and Horn Frogs are set to kick off 11 a.m. Central Time this Saturday in Fort Worth at Eamon Carter Stadium. And the game will be televised on Fox. So another big stage for Texas Tech despite the loss. The Red Raiders fell to 4-4 four four overall and 2-3 and three in the Big 12. While TCU, uh, number 7 TCU, is... Uh, undefeated at seven and zero. So, and of course, is uh, you know the Horn Frogs are atop the Big Twelve standings. So, another big test for Texas Tech. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to to know what to expect from the Red Raiders. They crushed West Virginia a couple of weeks ago, forty eight to ten. A West Virginia team that beat Baylor. Baylor comes in the following week and crushes Tech, uh, forty eight to seventeen. So. We'll have to see what happens uh, in this one in Fort Worth. I mean, you would think the way TCU has been rolling, Texas Tech's coming off, again, the worst defeat of the season. It, it just looks like TCU uh, you know, should roll in this one. And, in fact, they, they are favored by 10.5 points, which is a, a pretty big spread, but sounds about right, uh, especially with TCU playing at home. But that being said, it's college football. Uh in-state rivals, like I pointed out before, uh, there's a lot of familiarity between these two teams. I mean, Sonny Dykes is the head coach of TCU. Of course, his dad, Spike Dykes, was a legendary, you know, longtime coach of Texas Tech. Um, coach McGuire mentioned on uh, Monday morning or Monday afternoon that, uh, you know, he knows a lot of the coaching staff. Some of, some longtime friends are, you know, all over the coaching staff and it's back and forth with all the uh like the storylines and the con more of the connections between the coaching staffs and, and the rosters. Uh, of course, Texas Tech has a huge alumni base from the DFW area. Um, a lot of Red Raiders in the Metroplex or and or from the Metroplex. So uh, th this one has a lot of juice to it for, in, in that regard. Now, the, the question is, will Texas Tech, the team, hold up its end of the bargain? And I think it will. I'm certainly not, uh, at least in this space, uh, ready to predict Texas Tech's going to pull off an upset. But uh, because on paper, TCU should be favored big, you know, by, by more than one score like they are. Uh, but I think it might be closer than what some, some would think coming off uh, the results last week. So, you know... It's going to be one to watch. I, I don't. I actually like the fact that it's a morning. It's 11 a.m. kickoff on the road. Uh, I think that potentially could be a good thing. But uh, we'll just. We're going to have to see. Like I like to say, how it plays out. And uh, of course, we're going to have content previewing all. You know, the game throughout the week. Uh, look for uh, Big 12 picks, our predictions, what we're looking for. My Joe and I will have previews in both uh, written and video formats. So. Uh, stay tuned to Inside the Red Raiders for all the preview content. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.